Yo, what is a good fam? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, this is another requested reaction from my man Jay from the Redneck Riviera. Shout out to you, Jay. And uh, apparently, uh, there is a song from uh, our boys Tupac and the Notorious B.I.G. This one being called Stop the Gunfight featuring Trap. And apparently, this song was released in 1997. So, apparently there's some missing pieces to the whole East Coast versus West Coast story, you know, or at least the East Coast versus West Coast narrative that the news media, that the, that, that a, um, that Death Row Records, you know what I mean, was trying to push out, uh, back in the day, you know what I'm saying, um, apparently this song right here, it got suppressed, uh, apparently Biggie and Pac, they were trying to you know, kill the whole East Coast, West Coast, um, thing, and this song got, got suppressed, um, so, yeah, supposedly it's an unreleased song, or at least it, it, it's never been heard before, and it got suppressed, I mean, either way, I, I never knew this song existed, and I live on the West Coast, too, you know what I mean, so what the hell, man, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Once again, Tupac, Notorious B.I.G., Stop the Gunfight, featuring Trap, 1997. Without further ado, I'd like to hear, hear. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Check it. I grew up, but fucking screw up. Got introduced to the game, got an ounce to fucking blow up. I know this verse that Biggie did. It was in the song Dying to Live or Living to Die. It, it was on that Tupac uh, documentary soundtrack. Um, I grew up a fucking screw up. Got introduced to the game. I know I've heard that verse before in another song. I'm trying to think. Chopping rocks overnight. The nigga Biggie Smalls trying to turn into the black Fred so my man telling that story this is one and yes you, you can tell um with the way biggie raps he is definitely one of my biggest influences um as far as storytelling is concerned as far as like li lyrical ability is concerned um my, my man here talking about yo growing up growing up you know what i mean Be, being a screw up you know what i mean doing all doing doing dirt you know what i mean Dealing with dealing drugs, you know what I mean. Always packing that heat, cause you know, a, hey, cause when when you live that life and, and you're doing that dirt, you know what I mean. You gotta live life looking over your shoulder and everything. You gotta make sure you pack that heat, cause you never know who may be coming after you. I'm, you know what I mean. And let me say something too, because you know I was having a conversation. Speaking of my man Jay from the Redneck Riviera, me and him, we were having a conversation earlier about how these young rappers, these these young kids who be listening to Pac. Two guys like Pac and Biggie, you know what I mean? They're trying to, you know, act like they're freaking gangster gangster or whatever. They're trying to act like they they all thuggish, ruggish, and they know all about the street life. They know about, you know, the drugs, alcohol, and what have you. Look, there's a reason why Biggie and Pac are no longer around. You know what I'm saying? That life that you think they may have glorified, you know, on record, you know what I'm saying, um, when you're living that life, it, it's, it's not pretty. And when you're living that life, you're on borrowed time. I mean, well, you're on borrowed time no matter what, because, you know, age, we all, we all get old and we all, we all got, got, got to go one day. You know I mean? Sorry, I'm not trying to make, make this into a downer or anything, but I'm just, I'm just hitting y'all with the facts. You know what I'm saying? But when you're living that street life though, you know that that borrowed time that window of time you have on this earth it gets smaller and smaller and smaller you know what i'm saying we're at we're we're at a day and age now where it's okay to be yourself you know what i mean talk about you talk about the things that you're into you know what i'm saying whether it's video games you know what i mean i mean listen to my music i make video game references in my music i make comic book references in my music 
it's okay to be a nerd. It's okay to be into that, that all that geek shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the superhero stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you like Pokemon, that that that's fine. That that that's cool. Rap about Pokemon if that's what you're into. You know what I'm saying? If you like the superhero shit, you know what I mean? Like DC, Marvel, rap about that. You know what I mean? It's okay to be you. You know what I mean? Don't try to be something that you're not. You will never, ever, 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 ever measure up to someone who is so, to to a, a, a Tupac, to a Notorious B.I.G., to a Eminem. You will never be another one of those people, nor should you try to be like those people. I'm not saying Eminem was, you know, thugsta and all that, you know what I mean, thuggish, ruggish, and was doing all that stuff, because... Really, I don't know what Eminem's life was like growing up. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? That's not entirely true. I mean, I know it's like growing up because, I mean, he's talked about it and everything. And obviously, he wasn't about that street life. He was always about, you know, wanting to be a rapper and making music and everything. So, it, it it's cool to just be yourself. Just be yourself. Don't be something that you're not. Don't be fake. Being fake is never cool. Being gangster when you're not really gangster, that is never cool. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, be you. Stay true to who you are. Keep it real. Keep it 100. And people will respect you for that. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, let's go. Okay, real quick, since this seems to be kind of dragging out a little bit, and I'm not saying that to be negative or anything, I think the hook and everything right here, I love this part. It's it's beautiful, it's soulful, I love it. But I also want to add that, um, you know, someone like me who actually grew up in the hood, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you listen to my music, and the one thing you'll never hear is me glorifying the uh, street life. Because even though I grew up in the hood, and I seen some shit, you know what I'm saying, and I hung out with homeboys... I would never talk about that life. Why? Because I'm not trying to glorify that life. You know what I'm saying? And plus, being that I was never really about that life, it wouldn't make sense for me to rap about that life. You know what I mean? Bruh, like I said, be true to who you are. Be be yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. You know what I mean? Being you. Be you. That's cool. Uh -oh. no I like what they're saying here in the hook. How many more have to die tonight? I mean, for real, how many people have to die from this street life in order for you to wake up and realize this is not the life to be living? This is not the life for you. Let me tell you all something. Speaking of people who I hung out with, you know what I mean, that were actually about that life, that actually put in work, you know where those people are now? They're either doing life in prison or they're probably already dead. They're probably dead already. You know what I mean? Um, because, you know, the, 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 the life caught up with them outside of the prison walls or when they get when they're put inside the prison walls and people and they, they probably have rivals inside the prison walls that know who they are. Or you have people in there that tested them. And who knows? Who knows? They probably died outside the prison walls or they probably died within the prison walls. I'm saying it's it's not worth that it's that life is not worth your life. It's not. It it really isn't. Think about it. What kind of a legacy do you want to leave behind when you leave this world? Do you want to be known as a statistic? Do you want to be known as just some some punk who thought he was Billy Badass and whatever who who uh, you know was 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 dealing with drugs? You know what I'm saying? Who, who was always packing that heat and. 
you know, busting cap in people's asses and shit like that. You want to be known as that kind of person? Why? Why? It's not worth it. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. Oh, yeah. We had to go dreads to change our description. Two cops is on the milk box missing. Showed they toes, you know they got stepped on. A fist full of bullets, a chest full of Teflon. Run from the post. See, see, we, see what my man is saying right here? Had to change his, what do you say? His description. You know what I mean? Change his identity. Make, basically hide from the cops. Hide from the law. Who, you know what I mean? He, run, running from the cops. That Why Why would you want to be like that? Why, why would you want to live that? I'm just, I'm just saying. Only picture that. Nigga, I'm too fat. I fuck around and catch an asthma attack. That's why I bust back. It don't faze me. When he drop, take his clock and I'm swayzy. Yeah. Celebrate my escape. Solar clock, plus some weight. Lay back, I got some money to make. From the 5 -oh, ducking and dodging in my survival. Depends on when I let off with my nine. Oh, I'm moving swifter than the next nigga. No time for sex, cause in my mind, all I wonder is who's next. Nigga, my homie slipped and now we face the price. He did my man talking about here, man, he talking about, you know, doing all these things because in his mind, all he can think about is sex. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He trying to be with, be with this girl and he's willing to do whatever it takes to be with this girl. Even if it means, you know, living that, 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 that thug life. You know what I'm saying, bruh? See, got a homie that did a drive-by and now he's doing triple life. Triple life sentence you know what that means he is never getting out of that prison system he's prison is going to be his forever home that's where he's going to stay until his dying day till the day he dies bring it i spit that dumb shit nigga motherfuck singing i hope you got your timberlands on tight because i ain't giving up i'd rather duck these motherfuckers all night i'm running through the projects They'll never catch me cause I'm low and trigger happy on the See I don't say you never heard of me Till they murder me I'm a legend You dumb niggas go to heaven I'm See what he's saying right there? Bruh Bruh I hope you got your Got your kicks You know Tied up tight Cause I ain't giving up man Sooner or later I'm, I'm gonna take from you You know what I mean? And uh Yeah And may, Maybe you will get lucky Maybe you will, maybe, and maybe you'll, you'll keep getting lucky, you know what I mean? To the point where you, you get cocky, you get arrogant, you feel untouchable, you think, you know, nothing's going to happen to you, but then but then when that day comes, <laughs> fuck around and find out. That's all I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, you know what I'm saying? Fuck around and find out. Rolling with the thorough head, we getting ghosts on the moles, and yo, I got no love for the revival, running from the I love this man. This is that kind of music that I grew up with. You know what I mean? This is that that classic '90s rap. You know what I mean? R&B, hip hop. You know what I'm saying, bruh? So this must be because I'm looking at the track list in here. So this must be "Stop the Gun" by R&B version. You know what I mean, bruh? Let's go. All right, y'all. So that was Tupac and the Notorious B.I.G. with "Stop the Gunfight" featuring Trap, 1997. Apparently, this was a un. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's unreleased. I don't know if. If it's available on iTunes or whatnot, I would highly suggest, you know, see maybe if you can find it. All I know is that um, I just, 
I, I just barely learned about this song from my man Jay from Redneck Riviera. Shout, again, shout to you, Jay. Um, appreciate this request. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> I, I see what they're what they're saying in it, and yes, it does sound like that's yeah. The message that they're sending is, "Yo, don't, 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 don't get into the street life. Don't be a part of that street life. Don't get caught up in the hype." You know what I'm saying? That's all that the, the street life is. It's it's just it's all hype. It's all hype. You know what I mean? It's it's high risk with very little to no re- reward in the long run. You know what I'm saying? The right path is the the hardest path is, is the right path to take. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> the easiest path is the dumb path to take. You know what I'm saying? In that street life, that thug life, that is the easiest path. That is the dumbest path you can take. So don't. So learn from these guys' mistakes. This is what they're trying to tell you too. Learn from their mistakes. Learn from them. Learn from their 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 homeboys who got caught up in that life. You know what I'm saying? Who got caught for being a, for living that life? You know what I mean? For being about that life, they got caught, and they either got killed or they got locked up. You know what I'm saying? Which which could get you killed anyway. So anyways, y'all. Yeah, with this one 100%, definitely going to go ahead and mash the like on this one because I am definitely with it. Y'all are with it too. And uh, y'all want to go hit this up so you can listen to this uninterrupted on your own free time uh, as you would like. Hey, y'all know to do that link. That will be in the description down below. And if y'all with this reaction, y'all know to do the thumbs up down below. Y'all know to do with that comment section down below. <clears throat> Excuse me. And hopefully I've done enough to earn y'all's subscription. So, yeah, please consider subscribing to the channel if you're digging the vibes over here. Please make sure you got your bell notifications on set to all so you never miss an upload. And don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the video description down below, including my store links and my homies' uh, channel links that are in the folks that I rock with section. That will be greatly appreciated. And, yeah, till the next one, it's your boy Jason JV, and y'all have a blessed one. Peace.